वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब क्लास गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर दिस इज अनदर सेशन ऑफ वीएमबीए ट्रबल शूटिंग एंड रियल टाइम इश्यूज सो रिसेंटली आई एडेड वन प्लेलिस्ट इन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गो थ्रू दैट सो बेसिकली दिस इज सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ आवर रियल टाइम इशूज एंड ट्रबल शूटिंग एंड इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन हाउ यू कैन रिजॉल्व द इशूज रिलेटेड टू द स्नैप शॉट्स सो इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एस वी मस्ट नीड टू नो अबाउट द यूसेज ऑफ स्नैप शॉट एंड इन विच केस वी नीड टू इस्टेब्लिश द स्नैप शॉट एंड इफ यू फेस एनी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द स्नैप शॉट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो कैन हेल्प यू so i'm going to take the rdp of our uh, setup because uh, it's a core related to the practical so definitely we must need to establish at least one environment where we can implement the services so just give me one minute uh, meanwhile let's talk about the usage of a snapshot so as you know that a snapshot is uh, you can say that a uh, snapshot uh, can take uh, is used for uh, kind of backup you can say that yes it's a type of backup which is a uh, Uh, capture the real activity of our virtual machine for example you are performing any task like you just install one application or software in your operating system and you want to take the rdp you want to take the snapshot for the further means if any problem occurred with your computer after installation of your uh, application so before that before installation of any application you must need to take the snapshot and then install the application then uh, install the application to protect our environment basically so what i'm going to do i'm just going to give you the complete information means why you are unable to take the snapshot what are the issue what are the points that we need to know in case of uh, snapshot error so what i did basically this is our esxi host and another i established our windows server operating system that we will use only for the shared storage basically so first of all let's talk about the points point in the sense like as a uh why we are unable to take the snapshot the point is why we are unable to take the snapshot so we have a various reason basically we just need to know in point wise agenda is user or client user unable to take a snapshot right snapshots or you can say that snapshot error fine so our responsibility to know about the reason uh, the cases why we are unable to take the snapshot so mainly for the snapshot four different reasons uh, that can uh, uh, create a issues related to take the snapshot the first and important part is you must need to sure you make sure uh, check the available space okay in data storage right you must need to make sure you have a enough space uh in your uh, data storage where you created your virtual machine then second important part rdm disk must not connected with vm must not uh, connected to virtual machine okay this is the second reason and third important part uh ESXi host or vCenter vCenter server replication not active right this is the third reason if you establish a kind of replication of your ESXi or vCenter server and you are trying to take the snapshot of your virtual machine so definitely you are unable to configure you are unable to uh, take the snapshot clear next last option it's not a uh, mandatory but sometime vmware tools not install sometime it may be issue of your vmware tool uh, if you, we don't have any vmware if you are not installed any kind of vmware tool on your virtual machine so definitely it will create a problem clear so these all are the points that we need to discuss right and uh, let's talk about the practical part so i'm just going to show you the proper practical how you can establish the how you can resolve the issue so in our case i have already established esxi the esxi ip address is 1.9 i'm just going to take the rdp means you can say that web access using any browser just need to open and type 192.168.1.9 okay make sure your system and your virtual machine must be communicate to each other so let me verify the communication 
192.168.1.9 minus t okay request timeout so we just need to resolve the issue now we are getting a reply from sorry let me verify actually what happened multiple nic card are available means some virtual nic card some physical nic cards are available that's why we are unable to, it just conflict the ip address so that's why we are unable to take the we are unable to ping each other now we are able to ping our esxi host through base machine so let me log in our esxi using web browser This is the GUI panel of our ESXi host. So what I'm going to do, although I have already created a one virtual machine with name of AWS Gateway, I'm just going to take the snapshot without uh, uh, making any changes like as a, let me verify, are we able to take the snapshot or not? So just need to click on action button, click a snapshot. We are able to find take a snapshot. Then type the name of your snapshot like I want to create a snapshot with name of test one and take a snapshot. Right, we are able to access, we are able to, uh, you can say that uh, uh, create the snapshot without the error. So what I'm going to do according to the agenda, the issues, the points related to the snapshot error, like as uh, enough space in your database storage, RDM disk must not connected with the, connected to the virtual machine. And second, vCenter server or ESXi server cannot configure any kind of application services. And VMware tool uh, not installed. These all are the points that you need to check if you are unable to take the snapshot of any virtual machine. So what I'm going to do only for the testing purpose, uh, let me verify the space which is available in our storage. So uh, I added two different types of storage in your real environment. Maybe you will, you will find more than two storage right so you need to verify the uh, space which is available in your storage like as in aws storage we have a 198.3 gb of free space right in case of data storage one 20.08 gb of in a, uh, space are available in data store so that's why it means that we have a enough space to take the snapshot of our virtual machine but next uh, for the testing purpose I'm just going to add one uh, share storage, not a share storage. It's a type of RDM disk. I'm just going to add one RDM disk to our virtual machine. And after adding the RDM disk, we'll try to take the snapshot and let's see what happened, right? So for the RDM disk, what I'm going to do, I have already installed VM, uh, VM uh, Server 2012 and we will use this Server 2012 to configure iSCSI. With the help of iSCSI, we will configure the RDM. So how we can do that? I think I have already installed the iSKG services. No, we need to install it. Let me show you from scratch. Like we just need to open server manager, add role and features. Next, next, again, next. The server IP address is 150, not an issue. Next. And you need to check mark the service of uh, uh, what we can say that iSCSI server. See, this is iSCSI target server. You just need to check mark it. Next, next, and install. So once our iSCSI service is ready to use, we will create a one logical unit number, and then we will attach the same logical unit number directly to the virtual machine uh, as a RDM disk. And once we attach the RDM disk to our virtual machine and we'll try to take the snapshot again and let's see what happened. Clear? So wait for a few minutes and after that we'll proceed for next step. Now SKZ service is installed successfully. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create one hard drive and shared with the share with our ESXi host. Create and uh, we have enough space like as a 40 gig of free space available. I'm just going to assign share disk, right? And uh, the capacity of our share disk, I just wanted to share only 10 gig of space, right? New iSCSI target, share, next, add. 
and you need to provide the details of your ESXi host. So I'm just going to assign with the help of IP address 192.168.1.9. This is the ESXi host IP address. Click OK, next, next and create. So we successfully proceeded to create a share storage means you can say that kind of LUN logical unit number which is not connected yet, right? So how we can connect it back to the uh, our inventory of ESXi host, click uh, storage, under the storage we just need to click adapters and in the adapters just need to click software SCSI and uh, our server IP address means provider IP address is 192.168.1.50 this is the IP address of our server operating system just need to click save the configuration wait for a few seconds it's uh, in progress Okay, I think we successfully connected our space, uh, our logical unit number. Let me verify from server end. Right click and refresh the page for the verification. Now it's connected. It means that you successfully shared the logical unit number of 10 gig of space. Let me assign the same space to our virtual machines RDP. So open virtual machines property, action, go to the edit setting. Under the edit setting, you will find the add R drive and I, I want to add a RDM disk as we discussed if we talk about the points that we discussed uh, uh, in case of uh, solution of a snapshot error add raw disk mapping 10 gig of space select I don't want to make any changes click save we successfully added our RDM of 10 gig of space let's try to take the snapshot snapshot take a snapshot Type the name of your snapshot. So I want to create a snapshot with name of test two, right? And click take a snapshot. Fail to create a snapshot test two on virtual machine AWS Gateway. Only the reason of you added uh, RDM disk with this particular machine. So what you need to do in this case of you are facing issues same like in re uh, your real environment. So what you need to do, you just need to remove the RDM for a few minutes. And after taking the snapshot, you need to take the you need to con uh, you need to connect your snapshot. Uh, you need to convert connect again your RDM disk to virtual machine, right? So these all are the points that you need to know in case of taking a snapshot. If you face any issues related to snap to, uh, is taking a snapshot, you j must need to follow these four different points. And definitely by using these points, we are able to resolve the issue. This is all about the second troubleshooting class guys will connect soon with another troubleshooting you can also drop a comment related to the issues that you have already faced right so please do subscribe teach me cloud youtube channel we'll connect soon with another video take care bye bye